All right, everybody, thanks for joining us. We are gonna be doing something different today, and um, that is just showing you what it's like to drive in thick traffic. So up ahead, let's try to move over lanes here. Um, there's pretty thick traffic. I know there was coming up. So now we're, we're on Gympie Arterial Road. Um, this is Queensland, just north of Brisbane. We're heading back to Gatton with the loaded trailer. And uh, so I thought I'd show you what it's like to be driving a manual truck in the bumper to bumper traffic. Um, really doesn't bother me. Um, I'd still rather have this than an automatic. So let's see what it's like driving in the traffic. So coming, uh, when I was coming up here, um, it was raining miserable. I see it's stopped raining now, so might get some, well, it might be a little easier. So I wind down the window, give us a bit of, a bit of uh, engine action. And So we're following the GPS there because I'm not really familiar with Brisbane, so I have to watch where we're going. watching you'll know exactly where we are
it's really um it's not really loud nothing to really you know oh listen to that it's you know they're, they're just engine brakes so let's see i can't believe the traffic it's uh it's flowing nicely oh well i spoke too soon maybe it's from here that it's pretty bad so we'll, we'll use the engine brakes to slow down here I still haven't touched the brake. Okay, now I've got my foot on the brake. I was saying earlier that uh, everyone's lawns are just beautiful. I mean, look at this beautiful lawns there. Well, there's a park over there, but you know. Everywhere you look in, in Brisbane, it's like people look after their lawns. Unless, well, maybe, uh, Maybe I just around the highways, but ah. Uh, anyway, everywhere I look, it's got beautiful, beautiful grass. Brisbane and Sydney. Sydney's just rough roads everywhere. In fact, New South Wales is just one rough road. Yes, Queensland's got pretty bad roads too in some places, but around Brisbane, it is just much, yeah, just smoother. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? No. So, oh, here's a good example. Now, I know the camera is a little higher, but do you see from here, you can't see that car, can you? See that car there? Yeah, from here, I can't see that car. So, when I get this close, which I don't have to be this close, but yeah, I just do. Anyway, so, sometimes I, I lean to the side just so I can see the car. <laughs> so, before I go, if I'm ready to go, I've got to make sure that that car goes and I can see it in front of me before I go so you don't just you know, run in the back of it because people don't like that and who won't oh, I don't want to do the paperwork either so so we let it go first so we don't hit it oh for the traffic life Hmm. How far have we got to go? Just a lot of fair way up, I guess. Go! What were they waiting for? Spoken about this time a long time ago, but if you see a red light up ahead, there's no point just busting your eyes getting to the red light. Like some people, they just fly off the mark and go. Well, I just start slowing down sooner, and I'm still probably going to come to a stop. In bumper to bumper, oh, sorry, when there's traffic lights, every well, look at them just up ahead, there's another chill of traffic lights. It's just no point, just yeah. So I just take it a bit easier. Now, like I say to take it easy, I'm trying to take off as fast as I can though, because otherwise people just jump in front of me and then um, jam up my lane and plus go slow. How many people 
get in front of trucks but i've got to get in front of the truck and then they just go slow a lot of cars as you know the um the speedo is not set exactly right so they're usually set six to eight kilometers less than the speed limit and they don't know it so when i come up behind them they think i'm the one that's speeding Everybody else. And then we just roll to a stop up this hill. Ah, oh, I still got to apply the brake. Oh, what are we doing? Okay, so 1.3 kilometers return or veer off to the right. Okay, well, I guess the right hand lane is probably going to be okay. That was a bit confusing about the airport link and just after there were lanes coming up everywhere and freaking out, you know. I, I have made a wrong turn once, so I think I'd, I was going through Sydney, through the tunnels. This is before the new M8 tunnel. And um, I was sure it said to turn off here I turned off and now well look out I'm in the middle of the city like literally in the middle of the city or something and oh great I go through but still a little annoying when I was heading north. Right, M7, yep, M7. Of course we missed the lights. Terrible.
brakes going down. that with the uh, with the window shut oh I've got no air conditioning on hang on so if it, with the window shut it's accelerate full throttle as you can hear it is really quiet inside and then full throttle in lower gear so it's yeah very very quiet without uh, the window open Whew. So we veer be to the left here. And what now? What's this? Ipswich, Ipswich. So we stay on here, Ipswich. Which lane's that? Doesn't say yet. Uh, Fort of View Valley, Ipswich. Well, uh, yeah, I guess Ipswich. So. This is where it can get a bit confusing. Okay, so find the window back a bit.
right, it's uh, the return here, I guess so. It's it's Toll City here. Everything's a toll road. Go to Perth, and there are no toll roads. All right, I'll wind the window up this time. I think this is a long tunnel, this one. I remember one tunnel was quite long. Yes, as I was saying, so Perth just has no toll roads. Everywhere you go, it's just where you just go and nothing more to pay. I, th I think, you know, uh, I've spoken to you guys about uh, what I believe about uh, toll roads, how um, uh, the, the, the Commonwealth Constitution basically doesn't, uh, uh, there's no provision for toll roads. We pay for our taxes, we pay for the roads. So uh, this is just for profit. It's uh, pure and simple. Especially, you know, they might say, oh, but you know, we have to cover the cost of the road. Well, if you have a look at the, uh, look at the Melbourne roads and the Sydney toll roads, they'll be paid for. They're, they're, they're just in profit. So therefore, uh, constitutionally, you shouldn't be paying it. I want my wife to stop paying it, but then you just got to go to court and you will win as long as you know what to, what to say. Anyway, enough about that. So, how far do we have to drive down here? I hear you screaming in the microphone, or oh, sorry, screaming at me saying, engine noise. Okay, let's, let's, let's go for it again. Amazing. Uh, before I used to drive this, and I used to pass other Kenworths and stuff, and I had a Volvo or Mercedes or whatever, you know, the European trucks, and I used to think, oh, listen to how loud that truck is. Man, that makes me awful to be inside there. Oh, it's just so loud. But really, it's not. Wind up the windows and listen to that. It's, what can you hear? It's beautiful. I mean, yeah, sure, if I put my foot down, that's as loud as it gets. So, oh, I've got to turn out the air conditioning, oh. So I guess this is the end of the tunnel. Brisbane's actually really nice. I mean, look at this. You'd think that we're in the bush. Look at this bush both sides. But uh, what road is this? Legacy Way. Okay. Um, but just on the other side of the, uh, over there, there's well suburbs there and suburbs over there. I mean, you see it on the map. Oh, they, okay, there's a park there, but still, um, yeah, it's amazing. See the old seatbelt phone camera, that's dodgy as. 
and they got those here more revenue raising yeah what's the speed 90 okay I guess we can speed up a bit um, I guess I don't need the GPS from here if you just follow this Ipswich Toowoomba follow the M5 I guess it joins on to the what would that be whatever M number it is well I guess uh, I guess that's it I didn't really hit as much traffic as I really thought I would Anyway, if you want to stay with us while I get onto the, the I think it's the Logan. No, Logan is that way. Um, uh, the Warrigal, no. Oh, I just don't come to Brisbane as much as I, as I could. No, no, we just don't go to Brisbane that much. Like we go to North Queensland and those kind of areas a lot more than I do uh, Brisbane. I don't know why, we just don't get the freight up here as much and I don't think it's because we don't oh we just we knock it back I don't know anyway whatever to go and get some lunch from here because uh, from there I've just got to connect up my trailers as a road train and um, head straight back to the yard uh, I'll drop the other trailer because the other the speedboat trailer um, that's uh, that's going to Perth and uh, if you remember watching the live video that I just put out uh, last week um, it's my son's birthday this weekend so I've got the long weekend off we may even go somewhere. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. So, uh, this other trailer is for Melbourne, and I know I'm taking it straight to Melbourne. And um, it's going to be there Thursday morning. Oh, and you wouldn't believe it. It's going to the construction side of that new, the overpass in, you know, near, near Fitz, uh, what's it? Oh, Fitzroy, Fitzroy Road? Um, yeah, so gonna be having a bit of fun going in there. Once again, I wish I could show you that, but I can't get in trouble. construction on this new bridge just coming up I don't know if we're going to make it more lanes or what but I don't know what they're doing you guys who live here would know what's happening there it is sort of construction of something this by the looks of it it's a new bridge gee where's it going to go this is there's a big mountain behind us so Yes. I must say, uh, the people of Brisbane know how to drive. If you indicate, um, they'll let you in. Uh, let's see, if I were to flash my lights to this red pea plater, which I may do soon, um, he'll move over. So I find people of Brisbane, they're, they're quite courteous. A lot better than Melbourne. I don't know why, they just, no one seems to do the speed limit in Melbourne. And you go to Sydney and everyone goes over the speed limit, it's great. I can't sit in the right hand lane, otherwise I'll just get well people will be banking up behind me so I don't like to ever um, hold people up so if I see people behind me and I can't go faster then I'm going to move over to the left hmm so what 
spots for lunch. There's no subway at the place I'm gonna stop at. There is Hungry Jack's. Do I have to get Hungry Jack's again? Jeez. I mean, I like Hungry Jack's, but how much can I have of that? And yeah, my wife says I'm putting on weight. Oh, well, I have. I, I've just got to put it. I've just got to take it off. It's no good. So is this car gonna move over? There you go. So I've flashed it once because really you're doing 90 and 100 zone and immediately it's moved over. Very nice. So let's, uh, let's get up to speed here. Oddly enough, most people are not exactly going that fast. The only trouble we're having this on, you guys can see if I'm speeding. I'm gonna let it roll down the hill, you know? So, anyway, we're about to get onto the, Ips uh, the Ipswich motorway, that's it. Oh. See, look at these roads, they're, they're just, they're just good quality, just smooth and you can't complain about these roads. But of course, you get out to the suburbs, not the suburbs, the, you know, out in the bush and then things start to get a bit whoopsie whoopsies, you know, up and down and all over the place, so. All right, straight towards Toowoomba. Now, what 